Cairo Tyne. Uh, how are you? So who are you? Hello, I'm Andreas Schaffner. I'm co-founder of Aerotain. So we, what we do is we build this airship. It is filled with helium and that allows us to fly above people. Do you have also a projector built in sometimes? That was a project. Like a projector? Half a year ago we had a projector on the back side of the plane. And it just projects through it? Right, exactly. That's, so that's we awesome. can, this way we yeah. can project digital content on the front of the, of the plane. So it's a big, uh, 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 what's inside? Uh, how, does it, how does it fly? Exactly, it's filled with helium and for that reason we can f uh, stay up in the air for like three hours indoors. And, um, and you have uh, machines on it? Motors? Yeah, big machines. It's, it's motors. They're protected by safety rings and safety shields. Also, you, can real, you, can, you really cannot touch anything that's rotating for safety reasons. So even if the system falls down, which is very unlikely actually, but it can fall down, it does not hurt anyone. But it's helium, right? It's helium. That can explode, no? Uh, no, helium is a totally safe gas. Ah, so which Not one explosive. is the one and uh, the big one that exploded? You're probably thinking of hydrogen. That was hydrogen. That was hydrogen. Helium is fine. Helium is very inert, so it does not react at all. It's a non-reactive gas. That's cool. So how big is this? The diameter is here is 2.84 meters. That results in a total uplift of about 12 kilograms about 12 cubic meters as well. That's beautiful, and uh, up here you have uh, GoPro. We can for you so we can look at electronics. Here we have the GoPro. We can replace it with any camera, it doesn't matter. Bring your own big camera, we put it on the blink. You just glue it on or scratch it? Actually, it's Velcro. Velcro? Yeah, so we can easily replace it. Nice. And uh, what's the board? Uh, do you have a... Uh, some electronics here going on here. Exactly, so that's basically just a DC, DC board. That's the communication to the ground station, it's a layered. Okay. And that's the computer that with all the sensors on it, it's a Pixhawk, and all the pilots. So you have a XOR, you have a Sky layered. What's going on here? The layered is the communication with the ground station. It's what, is a, the sta what is the signal? It's 2.4 gigahertz. So how far can it go? We have not reached the limit yet. We know for sure that it, we can go up to 300 meters. It's probably more than that. We have not tested yet though. So you have electronics and you have sensors, so it knows how it's moving or what does it know? Exactly. With the sensors here, we have a gyro, gyroscope. We can measure the rotations. And with the four motors placed on the blimp, we can counteract those disturbances. That's amazing. Is that like something you just find open source for free on the internet or you have to develop everything from scratch? Most of it is developed from scratch. However, the ground station, like the, the software interface is open source that we used. But everything else is actually was developed at ETH Zurich during our bachelor's, bachelor's studies yeah. in mechatronics or robotics. Yeah. It was a bachelor's thesis and a big project. Uh, that's the result. So that's a lot awesome. of engineering is behind it. And uh, it's just, uh, it's smooth. Are you going to use it for big events already? Exactly. We are going to use it at big events, sport events, can be a concert, can be an opening ceremony of something. It's just the, the big area here we can print. This way we can actually put any brand or any logo onto the blimp. With that, people can touch the brand and they can actually experience the brand. They don't just see it, they actually experience the brand. It's beautiful. It's huge. And you can do the projector style also. Oh, sorry. So then you just uh, mount a picker projector somewhere? Yes, Where? right on the back side. We... On the back side? Like well, inside the, of it? The, well, with this blimp, that doesn't work because yeah. we need to stitch up plexiglass by hole on, onto the surface such that we can project through the hole. So that's another blimp that we have at home. We did not bring that for CBIT this year. That's awesome. And how many different ones do you do so far? So at the you same have one time, for Google? Yeah, there's, there's several ones. I, I don't even know the exact number. It's more than 10 for sure. It's probably somewhere between 10 and 15. Since when? So we started the company like six months ago, September 2015. We are a spin-off of ETH Zurich. 
So that means uh, ETH is always connected, forever? They're not connected forever, they are connected for now, they're very supportive. We we are able to, to use their knowledge, also we gained the knowledge during our studies at ETH, but now we are an own company, it's private owned. How long is the battery life? How far can it go? Indoors we can fly up to three hours. If you go outdoors, it really depends on the wind. Can you uh, counter the wind? Yes, we can. But very effi efficiently or you need a maximum amount of wind? Like there 20 is, kilometers course, an hour? Of course, there is, is limits. We can, the system flies up to 20 kilometers an hour, so we can handle winds of up to 10 kilometers an hour. So that like is good for the summer? When you check the weather and it's stable, exactly. you can go outside? Yes. That's awesome. That's so uh, we're going to see it at the uh, Euro football, right? Hope so. Maybe Champions League final or maybe you even see it at Super Bowl in the United States next year. How much it costs to get you to print it and bring it to the event? That really depends on the event. People just contact you for the information, right? Yes, people will. They, they call us, we see what we do. Sometimes they want it bigger, they want it smaller, they want a full print. We are actually not even limited to the, to the spherical shape. Imagine you're the owner of Pepsi company. We can design the shape of the ball or of the balloon actually as a Pepsi can. Really? So we have a Pepsi can that flies above the people. Do you have that working? Different shapes? We are We're working just talking on about one, it. And the next non spherical shape is being rolled out or is going to be rolled out this year in June. Can you do a delivery? You know, this is a drone for delivery, maybe, no? It could be for delivery. A However, big Amazon logo. It's, I think for, for delivering packages or parcels, there's more efficient things. But uh, I mean, the idea of uh, floating is that great. Works. Exactly. However, the wind is still a very big restriction to the system. So for that, there is systems that are not as resist, uh, as um, that, that do not depend on the wind that much. So but maybe then they have a shorter there. range. Maybe because they don't have helium. Yeah. yeah, that's one point that is true for sure. The helium does generate the uplift and saves us a lot of flight time. But with the wind, we need so much power to counter the wind. So a small system like a fixed plane, fixed wing yeah. plane, does not need as much power to fight wind. Nice. How many uh, motors you have around? There's four. Four. You see one at the moment, and the max you can see in the advance is actually three. And uh, how, how much battery is here? It's a six cell lithium polymer battery. It has 2.8 ampere hours capacity, which gives us the three hours of flight time. Nice. So the drones and all that kind of stuff is awesome, right? Uh, is your company going to do more and more stuff? Yes, exactly. That's, that's the goal of our company. We are not just doing this product. What we do is we bring anything up to the air. So if you want a camera or if you want a flying Pepsi can, as I mentioned earlier, whatever you want, we bring it airborne. Nice. So I hope you will be really busy and uh, we'll see those flying everywhere. That's what we are, we are hoping.